Strange lights and moving shadows have been seen on the moon by astronauts so often that NASA has published a list of them. From the year 1540 to 1967, NASA lists over 570 strange moon events in a report called Chronological Catalogue of Reported Lunar Events. The report is also known as NASA Technical Report, hashtag R277. NASA started a study called Operation Moon Blink because the lights on the moon were seen so regular. Within months there were more than 28 documented events. Several of these events were confirmed by astronauts outside the program. Photographs of these events have never been released to the public, but why? It turns out that 570 events listed by NASA are just a few of literally thousands of events that are regularly being made around the world by amateur astronauts. Moongate suppressed findings of the US space program published in 1982 detailed a NASA film taken by astronauts on the moon that the author was able to get his hands on. It shows Apollo 11 astronauts planting the American flag on the moon. Immediately after, a gust of wind blows the flag and it blows out. The astronauts run towards the camera and cover the lens with their hands. From then on, all flags sent up with the astronauts had wires in them to hold them out. Nobody knows how the moon was created, but there have been many theories that suggest how it was made. It says that something, maybe an asteroid, hit the Earth millions of years ago. Leaving a cloud of debris, the particles were eventually drawn together and formed the moon. The other theory is that the moon broke off from the Earth when it was in molten mass spinning rapidly, so rapidly that it formed a dumbbell shape and one end broke off. This theory was originally proposed in 1880 by Sir George Darwin, who was the son of Charles Darwin. All modern theories of how the moon was formed are based on the premise that at one time the Earth and the moon were one. When the astronauts landed on the moon and brought back moon rocks in 1969, they were shocked by what they discovered. Here's what they should have told you but didn't. The moon rocks are over a billion years older than our Earth. The moon dust is a billion years older than the rocks. Both the rocks and the moon dust the astronauts brought back are older than our sun and our entire solar system. Chemical analysis showed that the composition of the moon rocks and the moon dust was completely different, not even closely related to one another as would be expected. What this means is that it appears as if the moon was created somewhere else and someplace else. Also it means that the moon rocks somehow got placed on the surface from somewhere else a billion years after the dust had formed. That's just the start, the moon's orbit is nearly a perfect circle. Not only that, but the moon does not spin. One side, the same side, is always facing Earth. The tower is a major structure on the moon that has been photographed from different altitudes and five different angles. The tower is 5 miles high, standing close to the shard. The tower is comprised of cubes, some as large as a mile wide. These two monuments were built by someone. They did not form naturally. NASA had clear photographs of these two monuments. What do you think? Do you think aliens have visited the moon? Please let me know in the comments below.